Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about Auckland's bus system. I'm gonna be reviewing how to get a card, what the fares are like, what areas it goes to, and how everything works. So if you're excited for the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and let's jump in. Let's talk about the hop card. So the hop card you can get at certain locations throughout Auckland in different areas. You can also get this online and have it shipped to your address if you live in New Zealand. A lot of the suprets and the dairies in your area should have hop cards, but make sure you check the website and you can search and see what place is closest to you first. So the hop card is normally $15 and that includes a $5 credit towards fares. Right now until June 30th, this is on for 50% off. So it's only $10 and that gives you $5 for credit and $5 for the card. So this is a pretty good deal in my opinion, especially considering that cash fares on transit are a little bit more expensive than using a hop card. Once you get your hop card, you can register it online. You can also download the AT app and reload your card whenever you need to on the go. Sometimes it does take about one business day in order for that money to be active on your account, specifically if you're using the bus system alone. I think it's available immediately if you're using ferries or trains though, but you can definitely do this mostly from your phone. Make sure you have that card on you at all times because you do need it to tap on and tap off of each ride you take. So just to give you an example of the differences in prices for a cash fare for just one zone, it is $4 or it is $2 and 20 cents with the hop card. And then the hop card also has a daily cap of $20. So you would never pay more than $20 getting around using your hop card right now because of the 50% off thing, it's only $10. A monthly pass for the transit system is $215. This does seem like quite a bit, but like I said, because it is half off until June 30th, the monthly pass is only $107.50. So if you're gonna be using it to commute, to go to and from places constantly, this is a really good option and can definitely save you a bit of money instead of purchasing a vehicle and going down that road. I will say if you are relying on the bus system for commuting to and from work, that it's not 100% reliable. Sometimes the bus will show up like 10, five minutes early. Sometimes it'll be about 10 to 15 minutes late. So you do wanna be at the bus stop a little bit beforehand, just in case it shows up early. Another thing to note if you're coming to New Zealand from out of the country is that you do have to signal the bus driver. If you don't like wave your hand at the bus driver as he's coming towards you, he's not gonna stop for you unless someone has pressed the button on the bus and is getting off. So you wanna be paying attention at the bus stop. Like don't be looking at your phone the whole time. Make sure you know when that bus is coming up and that you signal the driver so you don't miss your bus. Another thing to mention is that there are different styles of buses. So there's an outer link bus that is the yellow one there is a green bus and then there are the normal buses. Sometimes they'll be double decker. Sometimes they will be just like a standard bus, but not every bus will say what stop is coming up next. A lot of them do so that you kind of know where you're at, but the ones that don't, what I like to do is have my phone out and be on Google maps and checking and seeing where the bus is so that I don't miss the stop. It is kind of hard sometimes to see like out of the window and know exactly where you are, especially if you're new to the city and you don't really know the bus route yet. For using the hop card, you do have to swipe it when you get onto the bus, wait until it beeps. And then when you get off the bus, make sure you tap it off. That will give you the fare for the area that you were in, depending on like what zones you were in and in between. I'll link a map so you guys can check out what different zones and how much those cost, depending on where you're traveling to. The bus system actually does go quite a ways outside of the main city center of Auckland. So you can do some pretty cool day trips from anywhere in Auckland and just hop on the bus for really cheap. It is much, much cheaper than renting a vehicle. If you're visiting, I'm sure you're probably gonna wanna see a bigger part of the country, but if you're coming for a longer time or you're moving here, the transit system, the bus system can be a really good way to see the country, to see a portion of Auckland for a lot cheaper than renting a vehicle. I haven't been able to take any of the trains yet, but the ferry system has been really great so far. I'm gonna be doing a separate video all about the ferry system and the train system once we are able to actually experience that. But I hope this video helped you guys out in planning your stay or your move to Auckland and that this saves you a bit of money in getting around the area. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.